Do you have a child, parent, spouse, or partner who is a resident or Mexican citizen? Would you like to reunite with them? You can do it, no problem. All you need is to apply for a Mexico family visa. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I will focus on the Mexican family visa, how to apply for it, and its requirements. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, now is the time to do it. Like the video too, and let us begin. Let's talk about Mexican family visa and its exceptions. Foreigners who plan to reunite with their family members in Mexico for more than 180 days must apply for a Mexico family visa. However, if they plan to stay for less than 180 days, they can get a Mexico tourist visa instead. Some foreigners who plan to stay for 180 days or less and are from certain countries can benefit from Mexico's visa waiver program. What countries? I have put a link of our article in the description. Go to our website and see the list. Now, how to apply for a Mexico family visa? Applying for a Mexico family visa needs some efforts from the family member as well. Your family member must visit the National Immigration Institute or INM and submit a family reunification permission request. After that, you must set an appointment at a nearby Mexican embassy and apply for a visa. In addition, you must need a residency card. You can make a request for it when you arrive at the National Immigration Institute in order to stay for more than 180 days. You need to visit a Mexican embassy in your country in person and apply for a Mexico family visa. Keep in mind that the family members must accompany you when you apply. Let's look at the steps. Step 1. Fill out the Mexico visa application form. You can find the form at the Embassy of Mexico or on their website. Step 2. Gather the required documents. That's pretty simple. Step three, submit the application to the embassy. You might have to attend an interview. Step four, make the visa fee payment. Step five, wait for the visa process to finish and the embassy reaches a verdict. Step six, if your application is approved, you need to take your passport to the embassy and attach the visa to your passport. Step seven, travel to Mexico and apply for a residence card. Now, what are the requirements for a Mexico family visa? Let's see. Number one, a valid passport. It must be valid for at least six months. Number two, a Mexico visa application form or a Levon form that is completed and signed. Number three, a picture that is passport sized with a white background and no eyeglasses. Number four, a copy of your passport. Five, a reserved round trip ticket. Number six, evidence that you have family members in Mexico. Number seven, if your spouse is in Mexico, a marriage certificate certified by the Mexican embassy. Number eight, if your immediate family members are in Mexico, a birth certificate of the son or daughter parents or siblings certified by the Mexican embassy is required. Number nine, if your family member is an international student in Mexico, a letter from the school or university. Number 10, the original and copy of your family member's residence card. Number 11, evidence of sufficient financial stability like bank statements. Number 12, Proof of a paid Mexico family visa fee. Keep in mind that the Mexican embassy might ask for additional documents based on the country you are applying from. In addition, all certificates such as birth and marriage certificates must be legal, written or translated into English or Spanish. Now, what is a residence card? After you arrive in Mexico, you have 30 days to visit the National Immigration Institute and submit a request for a residence card. This residence card allows you to stay for more than 180 days in Mexico and makes your stay legal. You need to collect some documents for making an application for a residence card. 
Let's see. Number one, the residence card request form. Two, your passport. The Mexican visa must be attached to it. Three, the tourist or FMM cards. They are given to you at the airport or on the airplane. Four, proof of a paid residence card fee. Five, a letter to the National Immigration Institute or INM to request for a residence card. Six, evidence of family relations. Seven, possible additional documents. At the end, you might receive a permanent residence card or a permanent residence card. You will receive a permanent residence card if you have a child, you are a child or adolescent, or you're a sibling. In all of these scenarios, your parent, child, step-parent, or sibling must be a Mexican citizen or have a permanent residence. On the other hand, you will receive a temporary residence card if you are the parent or 18-year-old child of a temporary residence in Mexico or you are the spouse of a Mexican national or permanent residence or temporary residence in Mexico. The temporary residence card is initially issued for one year and it can be renewed for another three years. Once you have four years of temporary residency in Mexico, you become eligible for a permanent residence card. If you are the spouse of a Mexican citizen or permanent residence, then you become eligible for permanent residency after only two years. Now, let's answer some common questions and clear some misunderstandings. How long is a Mexico family visa processing time? Depending on the embassy, the processing can take from one week to a month. Another question, how much is a Mexico family visa fee? The Mexico visa fee is around 36 US dollars. The fee is paid at the Mexico embassy. Additionally, the fee for a residence card ranges from 3,000 to 7,000 Mexico pesos. This fee depends on the number of years that the residence card is issued for. Another question, how long is a Mexico family visa valid? The Mexico family visa is a single entry visa and it is valid for 180 days. A temporary residence card is valid for a year and is renewable. On the other hand, a permanent residence card is indefinite. One more question. Can you renew a Mexico family visa? The Mexico family visa cannot be renewed. On the other hand, temporary residence card can be renewed for up to four years. After four years, temporary residence card holders can apply for a permanent card. Another question, can you work with a Mexico family visa? A Mexico family visa does not give you permission to work except for permanent residence card holders. If temporary residence card holders find an employer when they arrive in Mexico, they can apply for a Mexico work permit at the National Immigration Institution. If approved, then the temporary residents are allowed to work. And yeah, that's it. Now you can go and apply for a Mexico family visa with ease. I have a surprise for you. Since the steps and requirements of this visa were so many, I've made a cheat sheet that you can avoid confusion. Go to our article about this visa on our website and get it. Link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you can stay notified every time we make new videos. Thank you all for watching.